I recorded Arkham Asylum, uh, like I recorded these videos a month ago. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and I recorded Arkham Asylum or Arkham City. Like I started recording it a week later, basically. Uh, okay. So in ten days, I'll have recorded Arkham City a month ago. Gotcha. Please. You shouldn't trust him. <laughs> oh, wait, they're not talking about Batman. <laughs> Can't imagine they would trust him. Yeah. I, <laughs> I just wanted to freak those guys out with the back claw. Mission accomplished. Yeah. So these guys really want to get their guns. But uh, we're, we're not gonna let them. No guns for you. No. Oof. Ugh. This is what this like. This is what happens when you try to bring a gun to a bat fight. <laughs> the Batman will fuck you up. Oh, crotch first, too. <laughs> well, that was that was butt. Well, <laughs> taint first. Let's just throw. A, let's compromise. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, <clears throat> I have a, I have a music joke oh. that I've been meaning to tell. Oh. <laughs> put, put very large quotation marks around the word joke. Yeah, I, I, I know your pension for jokes. <laughs> I'm very bad at yes. them. Yes. Uh, and I, I freely admit that I'm very bad at them and I, I own that. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Do you think that Batman is a fan of meatloaf? I don't even know if I want to answer that. <laughs> or rather, for, uh, for, um, metalheads, I guess, is Batman a fan of Avenged Sevenfold? Ah! <laughs> I, I unfortunately don't know uh, any other bands that have songs and or albums with Bat in their name. God almighty. I'm glad you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. If if they can make puns, then, then surely I can too. It wasn't even clever. <laughs> well... It was almost obscure. I mean, if you don't know... Okay, first of all, Music. if you're reaching for meatloaf, you're in the wrong business for jokes. <laughs> no. Yes. It's it's bad out of hell. Come on, everybody knows bad no out of hell. No one hardly... The only time you ever say, hey, do you know meatloaf? You're like, yes, I, I enjoy that dinner. Or no. <laughs> Coming... No. Bad out of hell sold millions of copies. People know people Back know meatloaf. Back in the day. I'm just... I'm not that old. I'm just telling you, if you say... I mean, if people barely know who the Beatles are, I think you're vastly uh, overestimating do, the popularity of Meatloaf. Well, I mean... But there aren't going to be a lot of 13-year-old girls and, and boys who watch these videos, so... Still, you're, I, I, you're reaching for Meatloaf. No, I think it's a safe bet. Uh, I, I think... I think there's gonna be one person who's like, "Ha, ah, I got that." Yeah, and it's not funny. Um, <laughs> well, it wasn't <laughs> supposed to be funny. <laughs> so that was that was Killer Croc just yanking Scarecrow off into the sewer. Um, it's okay, Scarecrow's all right. Now, for some reason, so we saw that Scarecrow's bag dropped here, mm -hmm. like in this area, but it's nowhere to be seen. Nope. It's and it shows up. It shows up in a completely different location later. <laughs> I think, if I remember, if if I remember correctly, it's a. Uh, I'm not sure how it got there. <laughs> Magic. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm like, we we saw the bag. Where? What? Where did it go? Must have been fairies. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go over here and find us some uh, Riddler trophies. As you do. Yeah. Before we go into Killer Croc's lair, 
and find what could have been the third boss fight, but is not. It's going to be a cheap fight, isn't it? Um... What definition of fight are you using? <laughs> well then, that answers my question. <laughs> it's, uh... Apparently he's a dinosaur now, but okay. No, Oracle. close enough. I'm heading into Croc's lair to collect the plant spores Ivy spoke about. Yeah. He's in some kind of old sewer network. Send me the schematic. Fortunately, Batman is prepared for everything. Always oh, is. Except poisonous gas. Like oh yeah. Well, you know. uh, so he's gonna put a beacon I've tuned that we can follow. To detect the spores required to because uh, there is no map for the spot, and um. It's just an animal. And animals just need traps and the right bait. Yeah, you know, I'll being be being prepared, Batman. He's he's I'll gonna set up a happen. nice big bat on the explodable floor All there. Floating platforms will support me. So um. This doesn't look questionable at all. Yeah. So welcome to the third boss fight of the game. This is the third boss fight. The, with again I, big quotation yeah, marks I know, around yeah, third. Yeah, but this is a legit boss battle. Yeah, sort of. Um, so so it's it's again something that Arkham City and Arkham Origins did far better is that there are stealth encounters that kind of count as boss fights. Um, except this is what this game does. We're, we're gonna get grabbed by Croc another a second time. Um, so what you have to do is throw the Batarang at his electric collar, it shocks him, and he falls back into the water. Mm -hmm. uh, it does not work, or it does not work very well if you try to quick fire the Batarang, which is the mistake that I made that first time. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, this is what this game does for its um, quote-unquote stealth encounter boss fight kind of thing. Uh, whereas Arkham City actually just has like a stealth map and then you have to take down the these bosses in multiple ways. The mold. I'm going to need to find more. Hmm. Yeah, so right now we're, we're going through Killer Croc's maze trying to find all of these plants so that we can counteract poison ivy. <laughs> uh, Killer Croc is so cheesy, though. <laughs> I mean, this... This is stupid. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people had problems with this specific location of the game. Um... Oh, he's up again. So when you actually, when you knock him back into the water, you can start running. Because uh, we, you know, we see off to the left there, there's kind of a sound indicator that varies depending on your movement speed. So if you run, you're going to attract Killer Croc to you more directly than when you're just moving through the maze, kind of, normally. But when he, when he does the smash, or when you knock him back into the water, the, god, he's just, he's freaking everywhere. <laughs> it resets the, the sound lines, and you can, you have a little bit of time that you can full sprint. So the big problem I have with this is just how long it takes. Yeah, I mean, that ugh, that thing looks so dumb. I mean, it the, that animation takes far too long. Well, and plus there are, there are uh, five of the plants you have to get in total, I think. Mm. Because you have, to, you have to fill up the entire vial mm. off on the, the left there. Um, so you're you're going through this maze and 
Like, it's not particularly challenging. Uh... I mean, it's, 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 it's alright for, like, the first time you play the game. But, immediately afterwards, you get this, this feeling of, like, it's, it's very anticlimactic. It's, uh, it's like, oh, that was, that was what, oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Duly noted, like, game. Duly noted. <clears throat> Yeah, because like they're they're trying to be like suspenseful and uh, dramatic and and everything with this, but oh hey, jeez, <laughs> yeah, he popped up right in front of me, and I thought he was off to one of the sides. <laughs> and I bet you have to do this all over again. No, it does have checkpoints. Oh, thank God! It does reset us back to where we got the last. Uh, That's not too plant, bad. Though. That's so stupid, though. Yeah. It's like... It, it's just... It's very... It's, it's a bit of a letdown, because a lot of people were like, Oh, well, Killer Croc, he's... Like, he's one of the guys that can totally beat Batman in a fight, right? And then you don't actually fight him. Um... There is a boss fight with Killer Croc in Arkham Origins. <laughs> yeah, but it's, I feel uh, like that's not really saying much. You know, it, it's an alright boss fight in that game. <laughs> it's better than any of the bosses in this game, at least. But Yeah. It's still <coughs> so dumb. Is this nah, the last one? It's... I've lost count. It's, it's just because of how long it takes. Like, if you had to collect half the number of plants that you do have to collect, it wouldn't be quite as bad. Well, it wouldn't also be so bad if it just took a little faster. I've got yeah. Because I feel like this is unnecessary. The antidote. That's it. Well, oh, I get it. we got all, all the spores. So now we're, uh, we're going to run back out. <sighs> Oracle, I'm getting out of here. What about Croc? He won't be a problem. Oh. No. Yeah. No, um, he's not a problem. Yeah. See? Clearly. Totally. You know, we we we've been doing this for a couple minutes already. It's it's fine. We we can take him. <laughs> this is making you right mad, isn't it? This is dumb. <laughs> this is just so dumb. This is completely unnecessary too. Well, how would you prefer it to play out? Not like this. Well, no, but give some give an give an example. Like <clears throat> not even including like the antidote bullshit. Well, I'm not sure how they could contrive a way out of that otherwise. Maybe from Dr. I mean, Young's notes, I mean... Well, the, yeah, they, they wouldn't have to use uh, plants from Killer Croc's lair, specifically. Yeah, but... they, I mean, they could have come up with something else. I mean, this is just stupid. <laughs> this was this was completely <laughs> unnecessary. I'm sorry, this is just dumb. Well, we'll give some constructive criticism. <laughs> constructive criticism. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I just feel like... Because, you know, Killer Croc, they could have, you know, he's... I feel like they could have had, like, like a giant sewer arena. And, uh, like, a, like a, I mean, for lack of a better term, like a gigantic circular area. Yeah. And you have platforms. Like, these little wooden platforms, I guess, would work. And, um, uh, you'd have to use the, um... That thing that you can use to go the line launcher. Yeah, that. And you can just use that to zip line back and forth to like knock him, you know, like kick him in the face or something. And just now we have a chase sequence. Oh, so <laughs> intense. That's never <laughs> happened before. I mean, so so kind of like the 
kind of like a, a a good version of the Chaos Four boss fight from uh, Sonic Adventure DX. I guess I don't even know what that is, <laughs> but I mean, just like it was the it was the 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 pond one with the lily pads. Oh yeah, except not <laughs> except you can't see him. <laughs> so you kind of have to like go back and well, yeah. like you have to zip line back and forth and a, a good version of that boss fight. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe there'd be certain certain sequences where you would, you know. And boom. That's that's how we take him out. <laughs> but like, I feel like I mean, just like zip line back and forth. That could be like the first tier of the battle, and then like the second tier, he just. Straight, straight up grabs you and he just like drags you and you have to like kick him away and uh, use the the grappling hook to yeah. shoot up at like something and bring it down Well, and kind of knock him out that way I wonder if the mechanics of this game would have uh, even been able to support something probably like that probably not to be but it would have been way more awesome than this <laughs> it's boring. It's dumb. Well, it's done. So still, it's stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's okay. You can. You. We can. We can calm down now. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna get the last armor upgrade. And now we are at full health, Batman. Woo! Old sewer. Yeah, we came out. Where? Uh, where these guys are. Hmm. And this is this is when I finally spot the uh, Riddler trophy in the grate. Oh, that was a while uh, back. Well, yeah, it's it's not gonna be. It's gonna be when we come through this uh, sewer again, because right now we're heading to the Bat Cave. Because of course it's not that far from Arkham from Killer Croc's lair and yeah. Arkham Asylum, but you know whatever. Well, no, it's. He actually explained that. He specifically set up a secondary bat cave under Arkham Island. Just in case. Because he's Batman. Mm. Like, they, they did legitimately think of that as a, as a reason I, for why he has a bat cave yeah, under Arkham Asylum. I guess. Because, uh, because Oracle expressed surprise at that as well. Because it's, it's a little too convenient for my taste. That's Batman in a nutshell. I know, though, but really. It's, it's too... <laughs> it's too... Easy, I guess. It's Batman in a nutshell. I know, but it's kind of a cop-out. <laughs> it, it's always Batman is... is Batman wins everything because Batman is always prepared. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's the way Batman. Like Batman's superpower is being rich and being prepared. <laughs> yeah. Why can't he be the Boy Scout? Why does Superman get that rap? Because with great power comes great responsibility. Wrong comic. Wrong character. Shh. Wrong, wrong publisher too, man. Shh. <laughs> How close are you to making the cure? <laughs> close. I, I, I think I think they have cross pollinated that uh, that line between mm. all sorts of different comics over the years. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I think I actually I saw, recently saw. A uh, like a different Marvel comic that was straight up like pulling it as a kind of in-universe reference to Spider-Man. Thank God, her plans have reached the Gotham River. Uh oh. I don't remember. Don't remember what though. Ah, uh, Ivy's Ivy's going out of control. Bruce, are you all right? Don't say his name. Ah, uh, nobody's woman. Nobody's listening in on our conversation. We're we're Batman. 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 And now we get an upgrade to our bat claw. Because of course. Yes. We need ways to destroy the uh, destructible walls from distance. <laughs> yeah. Look at that thing. Look at it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's unnecessary. 
Now it shoots three cables instead of one. Ah. Oh. You're not even... Oh, look at that. It's glorious. Wow. Yeah. That's Batman. I like that. that is Batman. I feel like that's unnecessary. <laughs> they did not bring the Ultra Bat Claw back in Arkham City. Of course not. <laughs> Why would they? <laughs> yeah, we get this nice, uh, nice pan around of that's, this. Uh, it's, it's nice. This is this is a, a pseudo platforming section that we're going to be gliding through, and uh, yeah. It looks like it's it. Traversing. It looks like something you have to deal with. Yep. So we're uh, we're gonna have some fun with with all those little islands next time. And the moon gets to judge us. <laughs> <laughs>